In the world of science, there exists a field of study called mammalogy, the study of mammals. Mammals are said to come in three varieties, herbivores, carnivores, and omnivores. Herbivores are said to eat only plants, carnivores are said to eat only animals, and omnivores are said to eat both plants and animals. However, observation has shown us that at least most herbivores are omnivorous to a certain degree. But this does not negate the fact that mammals tend to have a hard physiological lean toward either herbivorism or carnivorism. One great way to distinguish if a mammal is primarily carnivorous or herbivorous is to examine the digestive system. Herbivores subsist on a high-fiber, plant-based diet by incorporating one of just two models of fiber fermentation chambers. Some herbivorous mammals are foregut fermenters, also called ruminants, and some herbivorous mammals are hindgut fermenters. Ruminants have a four-chambered stomach wherein bacteria break down the plant material eaten by the animal, while hindgut fermenters have what's called a cecum, which is a large, blind-ended sac or tube where bacteria break down the plant material eaten by the animal. When we look at the human digestive tract, we don't find a four-chambered stomach or a cecum. Rather, humans are observed to have virtually the same digestive system as other known carnivores. There is a leftover remnant of a cecum called the cecal appendix. The cecal appendix has no function in humans and is considered a vestigial structure. A vestigial structure, or vestigial organ, is an anatomical feature that no longer has a purpose in the current form of an organism of the given species. These vestigial structures were organs that performed some important function in the organism at one point in the past, perhaps hundreds of thousands or millions of years ago, but are no longer required to survive or thrive. It's pretty clear that since humans are not physiologically equipped to derive their sustenance from plant foods, people who eat a plant-based or vegan diet cannot acquire sufficient amounts of macro or micronutrients. This is why we always see vegans slowly degenerate into a complete mess and why YouTube is busting at the seams with why I'm no longer vegan testimonials. Thanks for watching.